Hello friends, uh, in this uh, session we are going to discuss the concept of derangement. I have two, three problems over here. Out of these three problems, these two were sent by different students. I posted them on our Facebook page uh, but uh, not able to get the correct answer and explanation from the students. Most of the students are confused with this concept, right? So I thought let me take this concept over here. Uh, here A, B, C, D, E are distinct integer and take values from 1 to 5, right? A, B, C, D, E, 5 integers are there, they are taking 5 values, that means, and these are uh, distinct, that means uh, no repetition should be there, right? One value can be assigned to one variable only, right? A minus 1, B minus 2, C minus 3, D minus 4 is not equal to 0. How many solutions are possible for this equation, right? Now, you might have done this question so many times. There are five different letters and directed envelopes. In how many ways the letter can be put into envelopes so none of them gets into the right envelope? Because uh, in basic session of permutation combination this concept is taught, right? Now most of the students know this concept but they are not able to apply the same concept over here. See this and this, both of them are same concept. Now, you just read out this problem also. There are five pairs of different shoes. So how many combinations can be made that none of the pair can be worn means none of them is a correct pair right so all the three are same problem you know this but you don't know this because you are not conceptually clear with derangement okay now what exactly derangement is any change in the given order of the things is called derangement if n things form an arrangement in a row, number of ways in which they can be derranged so that no one of them occupies its original place, right? I just take example of this first one, right? I have here A, B, C, D and E, right? We don't want this expression to be 0. That means A should not be 1, B should not be 2, C should not be 3, D should not be 4, E should not be 5, right? So suppose I arrange A 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? Now we have to uh, rearrange these 5 numbers in such a way that none of them come or occupies the same place as, as of now. Right? That means 1 should not be here, 2 should not be here, 3 should not be here, 4 should not be here, 5 should not be here. So there are 5 restrictions on this arrangement. On this arrangement. Uh, from uh, friends, from most of the students, uh, we are getting the answer as 20, right? Now, what is the explanation the, uh, they are giving is, see, 1 should not be there at this place. That means for 1, they are, uh, there are 4 choices. 2 should not be at this place. That means for 2, there are 4 choices. Similarly, for 3, for 4, and for 5, right? So, there are in all 20 ways of doing this uh, arrangement. Now, a very simple example I am taking over here, why this arrangement is wrong, right? A, B, C, D, E. Just listen to me carefully because this is really an important concept and frequently questions based on de derangement are asked, right? But the students are not able to answer the question because they are not able to relate the question to this concept, okay? Now, I am just taking an exception by this uh, is wrong, right? Now suppose a, uh, I give a as a value 2, right? Now for 1, uh, as according to this concept, we have four options. Yeah, this, this, this or this. Suppose I put 1 over here, right? Now for c, how many choices we do have? How many values can be over here? How many? See, we cannot put 3 over here. We cannot put 2 over here. We cannot put 1 over here. So we have 3 options left only. Right? Here we have put up 2. Here we have put up 1. Right? For this place, how many options we have? According to this concept, we have 4 options, but we don't have 4 options. We have how many options? We cannot put 2 over here because 2 is already there. We cannot put 1 over here because 1 is already there. We cannot put 3 over here because 3 cannot be here because we need to uh, remove 3 from this position. So we are left with just 2 choices at this place. Okay, so that's why this concept uh, goes wrong. Right, now 
similarly if i talk about the shoes case right i have suppose uh, shoes maybe maybe pink blue green yellow and white right so pink left pink right blue left blue right green left green right yellow left yellow right white left white right okay now if i made a pair of pink left with yellow right right this is one pair i have made now with blue left i have made uh, maybe green right now with yellow left how many choices do i have do i have four choices no i uh, or i just can take in fact white left right for white left how many choices do i have right i cannot put why uh, this yellow right i cannot take green right i cannot take white right right so i am left with just two choices okay so that funda of four choices becomes wrong okay i hope you are getting my point now what exactly you have to do you have these five numbers and these five numbers right you have to arrange these five numbers in such a see we fixed the position of a b c d and e right now we have to rearrange these five numbers in such a manner that one should not be here two should not be here three should not be here four should not be here and five should not be here okay the same way we have arranged these uh, five left uh, leg, leg shoes over here now the this order should entirely be changed if if it is pink a uh, left over here pink right should not be here blue right should not be here green right should not be here white uh, yellow right should not be here and white right should not be here it can be anywhere else but it should not be here right so this is actually the concept of dearrangement where we have n restriction if we have n objects we have n restrictions right generally i do not recommend the formula the usage of formula but for in this particular case of t arrangement you should learn the formula because the calculation is really time consuming and difficult once the concept is clear in your mind and you know that it is the problem of t arrangement directly you use the formula okay now what is the formula n factorial 1 minus 1 upon 1 factorial this is this now here we have five objects that means we have to arrange the five numbers so n is equal to 5 you just put up the value of n over here it's 120 it's cancelled 1 upon 2 uh, minus 1 upon 6 plus 1 upon 24 minus 1 upon 20 right we have to go up to 5 okay now just take lcm it's 60 minus 20 plus 5 minus 1 so this is cancelled 65 minus 21 so that is 44 ways will be there in which a uh, these five numbers can be arranged where one is not at this place two is not at this place three is not at this place four is not here five is not here so in all 44 ways will be there the same answer Uh, the same concept will be using over here same answer you will be getting 44 the same answer for this problem five different letters and directed envelopes in how many ways the letter can be put into envelope so that none of them gets into right envelope right letter 1 letter 2 letter 3 letter 4 letter 5 envelope 1 envelope 2 envelope 3 envelope 4 envelope 5 Uh, just fix the position of letters now rearrange all the five envelopes in such a manner that e1 should not be here e2 should not be here e3 should not be here e4 should not be here e5 should not be here okay and i am sure you might have understood the concept okay